I'm donating 36 books. Well, 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 do we have some books to donate. <laughs> really quick, I'm gonna go through every single book that I have that is going to be donated. First off is this fun The Sky book. It's just like a cute little historical book about this guy. It was cute, it was fun, I read all of it. It doesn't need to stay in my house. Next up, I actually got these at a little free library. Trevor and I tried to read them because we like to read like murder mystery stuff and I, couldn't get into it. I'm pretty sure this is middle grade writing. More like Agatha Christie is like what we've been reading. Then I have <laughs> The Sea of Poppies, which is another book that I got at a little free library. I have not read this book, but it looks so stunning, but I'm not gonna read it, so it needs to go. Me Before You, I got from a little free library. I think I did. And I watched the movie, but I have never read the book or any other books by Jojo Moyes. And I tried reading this one. I read like a few pages, I think the first chapter, and I just, not for me. Eleanor Roosevelt. This is a nonfiction, obviously. I think it's just a biography of her life. I made it to almost the third chapter. It hit me that I just don't like nonfiction and I felt bad that this is like a brick and I'm just never gonna read it. Why We Sleep. Trevor and I read about half of this book before we realized we weren't interested. I do think that it's a good book for people to read and to kind of research sleep in general. It's a little interesting if you're into that type of stuff, but I just don't really like nonfiction like that. Literature to go. I got this. I couldn't even tell you. Maybe somebody gave it to me, but it's a textbook, I want to say, from 2010. No, it's got to go. Pockets of Deception. This is a book that I got from my choosing a book based off of its cover video. This actually was the best writing out of all of the books that I got, which was kind of interesting because it was the cover I do not like the most, respectfully, but the writing was really good and I was gonna read this and I just never got back into it. I'm gonna donate it and hopefully somebody else can really love this book because I'm pretty sure this is self-published. Let's get that writing out, you know? Let other people enjoy Rebecca McKinnon. High Tide in Tucson. I got this book a long time ago. Oh, I should look for a bookmark. I read like half of it and just couldn't, I, I got bored. I'm pretty sure it's like a collection of short stories from her life living in Arizona. It's just not, it wasn't my thing. I, it's gotta go. This is just a, an old book that I got because I liked the illustrations. It's gotta go. <laughs> Adequate Yearly Progress. This is a book about teachers, I think going after the superintendent. I'm not a teacher and I tried reading it and it just wasn't interesting. Do I have a bookmark in here? No. Sometimes I get a book because it looks interesting and then I read like 20 pages and I realize it's not for me. Everything Everything by Nicole Leone. This is one of my favorite books. I enjoyed the writing, the plot, everything about it. And if you haven't heard about this book, it is so good. They even turned it into a movie. It's basically where Maddie has this disease where she cannot go outside of her home. She's a teenager and she wants to go experience life. It's very coming of age with romance. It's very cute. It's YA. So I recommend this. If you haven't read it, it's super short. It's just one of those reads I feel like everybody should have on their TBR. So check this one out. This book is called The Wolf and the Dove. It had no, no book sleeve on it. I literally got it because of the name and no other reason. I want to say this was like 50 cents or a dollar at like a thrift store. So I got it and I just saw a myth. Ooh, in times of yore when druids roamed and I was like sold. I wish I'd taken like five seconds to really think about it and maybe look it up on Goodreads because when I sat down to read it, I just was like, let me just like flip through, see what kind of the vibe is. Stuff was not adding up to me. So I looked it up on Goodreads and realized there's like some assaults that happen in this book and it's like 
problematic and there's no cover so I had no idea even what genre this was. I think it's romance. It just wasn't for me. Moving on. Sylvia Plath, The Collected Poems. This one, listen, this book is great, okay? I even was annotating it and stuff like that but some of her writing is just so dark. It's good. It's amazing. But for me, sometimes it puts me in a very sad girl mood and I just can't, I can't do it. And I've had this book for possibly 10 years. I have a collection on my phone on Kindle, so I need to let somebody else find this and love it because I'm not right now. Ha 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 Daisy Jones and the Six. If you have not heard of Taylor Jenkins Reid, let me introduce you. I read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and I really loved that book. I saw this was being turned into a TV show. It's about like a band from the 70s. Yeah, 1979 is when this book takes place. I should have known this wasn't for me based off of just like, I've never been somebody to like have that be my vibe. I've never been somebody that's really into the 70s and into the 70s rock band era. The other element that threw me off is I'm pretty sure this is told entirely in like interviews, which is really interesting and like cool, but just not for me. It's not for me. Little Family. I found this at the dollar store. This beautiful hardcover I found at the dollar store. It's even matte and has this like really cool texture to it. I'm never gonna read it. I don't know what this is about so I can't really tell you because I don't even know. So it's going. This book I specifically got to trade at a bookstore where like you could literally get store credit by bringing in books that you you know don't want anymore so I thrifted this for a dollar and I was gonna make a profit on it <laughs> and get store credit so then I could buy more books and then we left that city and went to another state because we're living in an RV full-time and it was time to go. I never got around to actually getting my credit so this book needs to go. I don't even know dude but I'm gonna donate it because I don't know anything about it. This was another book, same thing. I really wanted to trade this for credit because the hardcovers and the ones that were more expensive on the actual price tag, like this is $28. He gives you better credit for, so I was I was aiming for the hardcovers that cost a lot of money. So now I just have this book. <laughs> I don't, I've never read this series. I know nothing about this. This is like the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series. I think this is like the third book in that installment. <laughs> I can't keep it. The Manual of Detection. Kimmy sent me this book and Trevor and I attempted to read it. It was just a little slow paced, but it was very interesting, but we never got around to finishing it. And it's just one of those books. It's just kind of like, it's still around, but it's gotta go. And I'm sure somebody else is gonna enjoy this because it's so cool. Okay, now we are officially moving on to my tiny books. This is the phase I went through when I was just obsessed with like cozy mysteries that take place in a small town. I went through a long phase of this, okay? Here's one of those books called Death of a Blueberry Tart, and this book was so good and cute. Most of these books, if not all of them that I've read, are like three star, four star, the occasional five star, but this one I think was a three and a half, four. It was good. Not mind-blowing, but it was good. Actually, no. Now that I'm remembering, one of the characters really, really bothered me in this one. These are all pretty much the same type of story with where somebody dies in this really small town and the main character is like quirky and interesting and has to go solve the murder with the police. That somehow is a romantic interest for her. All of these are like that, okay? This one, Death by Cafe Mocha. I was obsessed. This one is so good. Listen, the girl owns a coffee shop, bookstore, and this is their cat, Trouble. And she goes to like a coffee convention. There's a murder there and then there's like another murder. It's so interesting and fun and I was like man I really want to find more by this author. I looked it up on Kindle Unlimited. The entire series is on Kindle Unlimited. The way I added all of those to Goodreads and I'm going to read them all. I started the first one, which is Death by Coffee. That is the name of their coffee shop, which is even cuter. And I saw it doesn't have like the best reviews. And I'm like, dude, we're here for vibes. What do you mean? That's what throws me off. I'm like, we're here to have a good time. Yeah, it may be a little cringy, but it's fun. Just loosen up, man. Have some freaking fun. Anyway, these are three that I just got. Did I get these in a video? But I know in my fall TBR video that I said, I was gonna read these. I tried and I didn't like any of them. Okay, moving on. I got a Nora Roberts book 
for like 25 cents because I've never read Nora Roberts and I was really curious. She's everywhere. This I found out is like a book in a series. First in the Gallagher's of Erd of something trilogy. I don't have the other one, so I didn't really want to get attached and then not be able to finish the series. So it's getting donated. I didn't even really read what it was about. <laughs> I just grabbed it. Agatha Christie, Elephants Can Remember. I've started this book a solid 20 times and made it like here. And every time I'm just like so not interested. It's gotta go. This book, Death at Daisy's Folly, is a Victorian mystery. I only got this because of the vibes. It's like a cozy mystery, but in Victorian setting. And again, I started it, didn't love it. It's gotta go. Why Didn't They Ask Evans is another, it's basically the same thing that's wrong with the other Agatha Christie book. I tried getting into it. I couldn't. It's gotta go. I am the only running footman. This is the second copy of this book that I have owned. I tried starting it, couldn't get into it. It's gotta go. I want to tell you what these books are about, but I don't even know. Another mystery book, Murder by the Book. What is the other one called? The Lies That Bind. They're just so, you know, they're just like that, okay? I read like the first two chapters. I skimmed the rest of the book because I was so not interested. It was very slow. I, cu I couldn't. She was like a book collector. So she had all these old books and somebody stole a copy of Alice in Wonderland. And then it led to this bigger mystery. And then just through skimming the beginning even, I guessed who the killer was. And then when I went to the end, I was right. And I was like, Eh. My tower is getting bigger. This is another book that I skimmed because of basically the same reasons. It was more of an academic book. It wasn't giving what it needed to give. So I skimmed it and figured out who the killer was. It's a problem. Unspeakable. This book, the best thing for me to do is just cut to the chase. There is a a word. <laughs> I don't even know how to say this. Basically, this book has the n-word in it and it's written by a white author. I was not ready for that. By all means, I've seen Sandra Brown around and I was really interested, just like Nora Roberts. I'm like, let me just grab one. And it seemed interesting. It has like a killer, a sociopath, like blah, 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 blah. Somebody's in jail and like they're a serial killer. I was like, oh, that sounds so interesting. Started reading it, got weird vibes, and then that happened. And I was like, Nope, bye. That's a no for me. We're gonna just move on real fast. This is Luann Rice, which we'll get to because I have another book by Luann Rice. This one is called Safe Harbor. I got this after the other book that I'm going to talk about because I liked that book, so I was looking out for more books by her. And this one was a red flag for me as well because this girl was an instructor for this sailing little school for children, and she had an encounter with one of the students. She saved his life, I think is what happened, and then like 10 years ago, by and then their love interests no as soon as that happened I was like this is not what's happening right now but I'm pretty sure he was like mm, 10 or 11 and then she was like 17 or 18 which is like yo what and then like 10 years go by and they're I don't know I don't know I, it, I just couldn't this is the other Luann Rice book that I read and I really liked I did not finish that book this book I did read all the way it's about a girl who goes missing we see like this life unfolding there's a guy who is the love interest and he is a marine biologist so that was really interesting like they talked about like dolphins and sharks and the migration of them on the coast so it was just really fun I liked it it was cute the last book where nobody dies by Carolyn wheat this is just a short little mystery novel. It's mostly court. She's a lawyer. She does like custody battles. It's like her main thing. And the husband of the custody battle is very like aggressive and just like not a good guy. So you're like, oh, that sucks. And then the mom is murdered. So there's a big mystery about like, did he do it? What's going on with that? And she suspects he didn't, but everybody else suspects he did. So that's basically what this book is about. It's really good. I liked the main character a lot. It was interesting to kind of see like a lawyer perspective in the mystery because I haven't really read that before so I thought that was fun. That is all of the books that I'm donating. I need to show you this. It goes like from here all the way down to here. Okay so these are all the books that I'm donating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six 35, 36 books. But I think today we're only gonna donate like 18. So make sure to subscribe so you can see the other 18 get donated. Let's go. Perfect. Thank you, Trevor. You're welcome.
Hello and welcome to the next day. I'm getting ready to leave. I hope you guys like my sweater. I found it at the thrift store yesterday and I'm obsessed with it. I'm putting my shoes on, but I'm also making my breakfast right now. But the reason that I have you here is because I just asked Trevor to go make me a coffee in the coffee shop, but he is very nervous to make my coffee for me. I was like, just put whatever you want in there. I'm gonna put in my new earring that my mama sent me. They're so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, they do go with the bag. <laughs> All of the books are in here. This entire bag is filled with them. Breakfast is ready, and Trevor just made me this coffee. We're gonna try it. That's good. You did real good. Let's go. Okay, so we have been to this little library like within the past month or two. There's just no little library there anymore. On to the next one, and it started raining. Well, we just passed the other one, and it said Kids Book House on it, and in fact, there were only children's books in it. So we're going to the next one. Boo, 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 boo. Well, we're back at one of my favorite places to be, the little library in the park from our last video. So the books that we are looking for, I'm looking for like thrillers. I've read like two of them and I really enjoyed them. So like Riley Sager, Stephen King even I'd be okay with. Any of like the fun fantasy series books that are out and about. Like I'm reading The Cruel Prince, but I'd love like the rest of that series. Cricket Kingdom, Shadow and Bone, you know, the basics. And then uh, anything to do with dragons. Those are on our list for today. So let's go. I'm gonna pick two books because we're missing two little libraries on our list now. Maybe three books at this point. Okay, so I'm doing these two books that I think are like middle grade, which is good because this is, we've been to this one before and it's mostly like children, young adult. And then this book because, because. So we meet again. It comes off and then a kid could get impaled. It's out. So there are so many magazines in here. Somebody unhauled like their entire collection. I guess if anybody's doing like an arts and crafts, making a mood board. Ta -da. I don't know what I rated it last time. <laughs> We're here at my favorite one. Let's go. Hello everyone. Got fault lines. The darkest kiss. What we find. Seal. Nope. Sea devil. Debbie. I read this. 49ers. Should I get it? These are big books. They should go here. I want to organize this one so much better. You should have put the big books in the back. Well, Trevor, I don't want to like be in your way. That looks pretty good. Actually, what if we do this like this way? Wow. Brad Thor, the last patriot. The bride goes rogue. Most of the time when I find a book that looks interesting, I don't read anything about it and I just take it. We're not doing that today. I'm actually going to read about these and see if I want to take them. I like this. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take this one. Sandra Brown, Lisa Kipyas. I don't, that's not how you say that. Martha Grimes, we literally have this book to donate. Fox's Book of Martyrs, interesting. So then people can kind of see what's going on. I think when they make these, they need to make them shallower and just yeah. wider. Yeah. I read this one, I think I gave it a 10 last time. I'll give it a 10 again, it's just good. Okay, we're gonna donate three books in this one. Oh, look at that. Verity by Colleen Hoover. I've already read it, not gonna get it. Happy are the peacemakers, deadlock, take down. Shakespeare's Christmas, do I dare? For my Christmas collection. Um, home, cowboy, and Sandra Brown, look at that. And I'm taking this one. I rate this one a solid like eight out of 10. This little library is in front of an elementary school, which if there's a little library in your town in front of an elementary school, go to it. I'm not gonna record in front of an elementary school for the sake of the children. So we're gonna move on to the next one and hopefully it doesn't rain. Happy to report that the other one is also in front of an elementary school. Woo, woo, woo. So we're moving on to the next one, which means this one I'm probably gonna end up donating like five books in. Oh my gosh. What I don't understand is it looks huge, this little library, and it looks this big. <laughs> like the actual part where the books go. We're donating these four. Look at the vibe. Yo, that looks kind of cool. 
Hold that for me. Ashley, can you hold these two? Thank you. Book of the month, the library book. Why did I say it like that? The library book. Okay, let me know if this is a good book or not. It won't matter because I would I'm not gonna get it, so it's probably gonna be gone by then, but Zom Zomnibus. <coughs> I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. This book, Katie is reading read and obsessed over and said it was amazing and it's on my TBR and I've been looking for it. That's crazy, dude. What do we think? Cute? Cute. Okay. When I rate, honestly, 10 out of 10. If I had a nickel for every time that this one was in front of a school with children outside of it, I have 15 cents. And that's too many. We're off to the next one. I think we only have two left. So I'm gonna just put half of whatever is left in this one, which I think is like five or six books. We'll see. <laughs> we got lost. It took us to like the back of this house and we couldn't find it. We found it. Hopefully there is another little library actually somewhere and we can donate the rest. I'm gonna fit these in here somehow. Lindsay McKenna, No Surrender. ABCD Cat, Small Town Girl, Rawhide and Lace, the third option, and Death of a Ghost. We're gonna fit these in here. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, you know? You might be able to fit those around on top. This one was really tiny, but it's really well taken care of. So I'm gonna give it like a seven because I just didn't like it. I am happy to report that this one does exist. It is not in front of an elementary school and it looks pretty large. So we're gonna donate all of the other books. Let's go do it. The thing that concerns me is this is only half the books you have to donate and we are out of little libraries. We're gonna do up here first, the jackals, Holly, murder runs in the family. Bad wolf, Cheryl Wood, Cheryl Wood, rogue angel, the, the born, born ultimatum. ultimatum, the colonels. Why did I say colonels? Is that colonel? I never understood that. Imagine learning English for the first time. I said I wanted to grab a Nora Roberts book. Just hold on to that for a second. Mary Higgins Clark, Peace of my heart. Generals, okay, I should put this by this one because I think it's the same. It's author. pronounced Jernarels. Shut up. Fern Michaels, I'm gonna put by the other Fern Michaels. The Writing Retreat, it's a book of the month. We're getting this one. I don't even know what it's about. Trevor's holding like seven books. This is the other clay, clay pass girl that I couldn't pronounce with the other one. Lisa kept yas. I don't, that's not how you say that. I'm gonna put my big ones here. This is our end product. And this is the book that we are taking. And we're back. I'm gonna do a quick haul. Starting with the first one we got, which was Shakespeare's Christmas by Char... By Charlene, Charlene, Charlene Harris. Uh, I read the back of this. Apparently this is the third in a series. I'm just gonna hope that it'll catch me up and that won't matter for me. But apparently a four-year-old unsolved kidnapping resurfaces to push our main character to act once again as amateur sleuth to protect her sister. And it's her sister's wedding during Christmas, of course. And her new husband is the widowed father of a girl bearing a remarkable resemblance to the vanished child. That sounds pretty interesting to me. It's only like 200 pages, it's super short. I'm gonna have a whole winter Christmas themed reading list. Get ready for that video. The next book that we found was Interior Chinatown. I did start reading this one. I wasn't planning on it. I was just reading the back in the car and I'm already like 20 pages into it. It's so interesting. The format for this is almost like a script, which is really interesting. So I started reading this one. I think I'm really gonna love this book. It's already captivating and amazing and it's just talking about the perspective of being somebody that is a minority in Hollywood and so this guy is you know he dreams of being an actor but he's Chinese and there's not many roles for people that are of Asian descent so it's talking about how they're always cast as like the convenience store clerk or as something that's just a stereotypical Asian roll. Already I'm eating it up. I'm loving like the different characters we're meeting and just the way that it's introducing just kind of the story itself is different than other books do it. So I'm already loving this book. Then I found... <laughs> 
I'll get to that one next. I found this book, Injection, and I read the back of it. It's like the same creators who made Moon Knight. This one came out in 2015. I'm not sure if it's the first. Once upon a time, there were five crazy people and they poisoned the 21st century. About the wild future and the haunted past all crashing into the present day at once. All about five eccentric geniuses dealing with the paranormal as well as the growing weight of what they did to the planet with the injection. It is a science fiction tales of horror strange crime fiction, techno thriller, and ghost story all at the same time. That is perfect for October. I don't know about you, so I'm probably gonna read this one like today. You wanna come say hi? The next book that I got is A Natural History of Dragons. Katie is reading read this on her channel. As soon as I saw it, I was like, add two Goodreads right now. This looks so good. It's like an academic vibe. It's literally about this woman who in this world is known for kind of her findings and research in terms of like dragons because I guess there's dragons in this world. She's known for that. So her name is Lady Trent. This is the memoir from her perspective of how she became this prominent research person for dragons, if that makes sense. There's like illustrations that she's done. I don't know when I'm going to read this one and how long it's going to take me. The last book that we found, The Writing Retreat by Julia Bart. And this book is a book of the month from February, apparently. And I read the inside cover. Oh my God, does this sound freaking good. This is about a woman who wants to be an author and she's struggling. So she was kind of wondering if she should keep writing. Same. <laughs> she ends up getting invited by this really prestigious horror author to come for a writing retreat. There's a bunch of other people there, including her ex-best friend and rival, but that doesn't sway her. She's like, I'm still going and I'm going to enjoy my time. So she goes, but finds out they have to complete an entire novel during the next month. And whoever has the best story gets a seven figure book deal. So that's a big incentive for these people. And they're really interested and they want to like come up with the best story. So that kind of creates this rival competition tension. The person that is hosting this, that prestigious horror author, the author is being erratic and kind of cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And the mansion that they are staying at is allegedly haunted and on top of it everybody's just at each other's throats they want to win this competition plus a girl goes missing during a snowstorm so there's mystery there's writing going on for this author it's just this sounds so freaking good these two i'm probably going to be reading within the next like week and including this one because i'm already invested we found some really incredible reads but i think i'm going to end the day with reading this because it seems really really short and fun and spooky let me know if you think that <laughs> I made good choices in the books that I decided to take home with me. Don't forget to give this video a like and please subscribe because if you subscribe, then we are legally friends. And turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time that I post a new video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.